Hello, I have books everywhere, so I decided I'm going to build a bookshelf. I'm also gonna give you guys a little like tour of my bookshelf and we're gonna rearrange today. So lots of bookish things, but mostly building this bookshelf and I think I'm gonna use this as my TBR shelf because right now my TBR is like on this shelf and honestly, like they're not color coordinated, which is throwing me off. So let me give you like a little tour of all the books that are kind of around my house along with how I plan on using this and let's get to building this bookshelf. So first we're gonna start with my beautiful babies. All of these are color coordinated except this right here, which is my TBR for the month. I've been just like keeping it here and it actually does grow out, but we're halfway through the month, so we're like halfway through the TBR. As you can see, it's like smaller, but usually it like is flush up against here and I kind of use that space, but right now it's a little smaller. Um, and I just have not been loving this shelf with the TBR here, but also you can see that it's like Full, like full full <laughs> like I have books up at the top up there which is driving me wild so we're gonna rearrange this a bit just because I want to move this to the new shelf potentially and I also have some books strewn around um that I want to show you guys so when I walk over here by the tv there actually are more books and these books are actually about to fall off like I'm not kidding you they are about to fall off of this little tv stand and they also are like blocking the tv when we try to turn it on I will say that we are mounting our tv so once it's mounted I think we'll have like more space but we don't even have a person to like mount it yet we've been trying to reach out to contractors and if you guys have ever renovated a house or anything in a house you know how that goes it is a wild ride so we don't have anyone to mount the tv yet but we do have the tv here and we have um like a frame that goes around the frame tv so it's not going to be the one that's here but um right now it's like blocking like all the books are blocking the tv so these are some of the books i finished all these and this is like the little spot where the remote needs to get to so it's literally blocking the tv i also have some books back here and these are like self-help type books um that are like good for growth and things like that and then a couple of fiction books down at the bottom which i've also finished and then over here on this side we have um some more books and all of these are literally going all the way around to the back of the tv and these are about to fall off like look how close this is to falling off and I've read all of these and so I just need a new spot to put them. Down here is one of my favorite things because this is a like coffee table but it's very unique because it holds books. Now these are all books I have not read and I try to keep my books separate the ones like I haven't read the ones I have read but on the bookshelf like the big bookshelf I showed you guys there's like a mix which that also kind of drives me wild because I find that like when I go to pick out a book I know I haven't read any of these which makes me want to like reach from here because Again, I have not read any of them, but whenever they're mixed in, I feel like I get a little confused, like which ones haven't I read, which ones have I read, um, and I know like if I pull out the book, but like, I don't know, when they're color coordinated like this, it's a little hard to just like read every single title. Also, there's a ton of popular books in here that I feel like so many of you guys have told me I need to read, and these literally are just like, oh, they look so good to read I just wish I could read I mean I read like 17 to 20 books a month so it's not like I don't read a lot but there's just like so many good books in the world and I just can't get to them all fast enough so over here is another little section and I've read all these books and these are like green books that are on this like green um table where we put our records in but the problem is well so the records go down there but I have an open space right here but I don't want to like hide the books you know so I don't really know what's going to go in there but the problem is that the green books are getting so high like look how high this stack is it just isn't giving the vibe like it's starting to if there's like two or three more books on here it'll be way too high and won't even like look cute so i don't know i just feel like i kind of need to move some of these but i don't have a space to move them so i think what i've decided is that i'm going to make the bookshelf and after i make the bookshelf i'm going to put my tbr on there and if the bookshelf fills up with my tbr then i'm not going to really add any more books um but if it doesn't fill up with a tbr i think i'm going to add books that i've read on there so that way whenever friends come over which you guys know tons of my friends borrow my books because they just like i don't know they act like I'm a little library and i love that 
but it will be a nice place to put books I've read because then people can just like have one spot to find all the books I've read versus like hopping from the TV to like the record stand to like the big bookshelf and like sifting through there. And it'll just be like one little hub where I can be like, hey, if you're looking for books that I've already read that you can take and read, go check on that like tall book stand. Um, and then we're gonna decide where that stand is gonna go because I really don't know where it's gonna go, but it's such a cool shape and I can't wait to show you guys once I put it together. So let's put it together and see how it looks with books on it. like this where you're just like thank god for pictures on instructions because if there were words on instructions absolutely not i honestly don't even really read instructions for real but the pictures i can read those so hopefully i can figure this out bookshelf and this is what it looks like. I don't think it was super hard to put together but I definitely had to use um like a drill to get this in and I didn't know that I would have to use that so thankfully I did have one. This is what the back looks like. It's pretty sturdy. I think it'll be even more sturdy when books are actually on it. Um I really like it. It wasn't hard but just definitely make sure you have a drill when you Put this together so let's figure out where we're gonna put this and start putting books on it so that shelf is definitely gonna feel more than my like tbr like it's really big so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the books from over here and these are all yellow books you guys know i love to color coordinate so i'm gonna take all the yellow books and the pink books and then i'm gonna put my tbr over here on this side i think um or maybe on the side where like the pink is because then i can um have it like out of the way of like the little um remote area i don't know i haven't decided but i think that this is going to be the best option because my tbr usually holds like i usually put 20 books on my tbr and that bookshelf is definitely holding more than 20 books so i think i've decided i'm going to put books i finished over on that bookshelf um because i think it'll just be a little bit easier than like putting half my tbr and then like half books i finished or half books i haven't got to yet um i like to keep my tbr very separate so um i think that's what we're gonna do i think if i put like half of the books on um the left side of the tv and then half of like the tbr on the right side it'll be nice and even i feel like it was getting so long on both sides and i just like literally i knew it was gonna fall off the tv at some point um you guys know that i split my tbr up into like what i want to read most and what i want to read but like if i don't get to i'm not gonna like be like just absolutely gut wrenched over it so this is like the tbr that i want to read most um or like the half of it and this is the other side that i definitely want to read but like if i don't get to like it's okay if it rolls over to another month um so i'm gonna put these by the tv because it'll be a friend of mine you know it'll be nice to see it i don't know i <laughs> i 
I feel so grateful that we have this bookshelf. If you guys are new here, this actually used to be a closet and we turned it into this like little reading section. So if you have like an entryway closet that you just never use, it was actually super easy to do this. So we had someone do it, we didn't do it. I'm not like super um, crafty with this kind of stuff, but I saw them do it and it actually didn't look that hard. What they did was they painted it, um, but before they painted it, they actually put two boards like that are really skinny um, straight this way and they put one large like long board on top like this um, and they were just like plain just like brown tannish looking boards that you would get at like Lowe's or something um, and then they just painted it white and that's it. I was a little nervous. I'm like, is this gonna hold? Um, but they, I mean, they did a good job because obviously it's holding really well. So anyway, I'm gonna put these over there because I feel like it'll nice, be nice to have them front of mind. Um, I do have a video coming soon for you guys that um, I think the next video that's gonna be coming up is reading for um, 200, reading 200 pages a day. Um, and that's what's really helped me get through my TBR along with reading for 24 hours. If you guys missed that vlog, you should check it out. Um, but I post three times a week because I feel like I read so much that you guys would miss like what I'm reading if I wasn't like constantly posting videos because I'm already like gearing up to do um, another video that is like you know a little dedicated video with like cute little books and I don't know I just I don't know I feel so grateful to just like be hanging out with you guys I don't know what I'm saying but I just feel grateful for this bookshelf, grateful for you guys, and grateful that you guys like like that I share three times a week because if you didn't, I would probably share anyway, but you guys just like wouldn't be here because obviously you guys watch and enjoy it because I see all your comments. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm just feeling very grateful. I decided on a spot where this is gonna go, but I might change my mind eventually, but I think that this will look nice here because there is the black on the um, like banister thing, and I don't know, I just think that it'll look good once the books are on here. Also, the dining room doesn't have any books, and eventually I wanna put some books in the kitchen where I have like a little shelf, and there's like books on it, and like kitcheny things, but for now, like I obviously don't have um, a shelf made in there yet, so that's coming soon, but eventually, um, I will get there. I can't decide if I want to start from the top or the bottom. Um, but do I want pink on the top? Guys, look how many books this holds. Like, this is wild. I did not expect this to hold so many. Okay, let's see. It is a little wobbly. It's not like, maybe it's because I have screwed it that up in the bottom. Oh my gosh, let's hope that this doesn't like break down. Wouldn't that be the worst? Like I get books on here and it just like absolutely falls apart. Um, at the bottom, I don't, did I screw in the bottom? I think I did. I think I, hmm, maybe I didn't. I did twist some of the screws in and then I was planning on screwing it, them in once I got the, um, uh, drill, but maybe I forgot to screw them in. I might have to like double check that if, like once the books are on here, but I did not realize how many books this holds. This holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, this would, like, there's no way, absolutely no way that my TBR would fill up from <laughs> this bookshelf because this, my TBR is usually 20 books and this is only way more than that. I do think that I need to put the purple on the top because we have purple, and then we have pink and then we have yellow, but I actually think I might be able to add more after I get the pink on here. This is exciting. I love getting new things and I also love like putting together things. Um, no, I take it back, take it back. I actually hate putting together things, but I like the outcome of putting together things. Does that make sense? Like once I get something new and it's like put together and it looks all cute and I can like decorate it, that's what makes me happy. I do not enjoy the process of putting things together. And I actually usually ask Brady to do that kind of stuff because I just really don't enjoy it, but he also doesn't enjoy it either. So I mean, it's like, come on, be a great wife and don't ask your partner to do things that they hate just as much as you hate, um, or at least all the time. I like never really put things together. He always does. Like I was actually working on our, um, curtains in our bedroom 
And when I was working on it, I think I posted on like Instagram that I was like using the drill for the first time. And he literally messaged me, like he DM'd me. I'm like, dude, you can text me. And it was so funny. He DM'd me and was like, wait till I get home, babe. Like I'll do it. <laughs> Cause he knows I'm gonna like strip the wall. But I try, you know, like there's just some things that I'm not good at and that's okay. And even though he doesn't like it, he's still good at it. So, you know, this is cute. Oh my gosh, I love what's going on. Okay, let's finish this um, and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to, or how I rearrange, how I will rearrange my TBR um, once it's all done. So let's recap on what I finished and changed around. So this bookshelf is finished and full to the brim. Um, this does not have my TBR anymore. You can see the color coding is back, which is so nice. And it's color coded everywhere else. I did take some of the pinks from up here that I, like these are books that I finished. And I took some of the pinks and put them um, on that little like new shelf. So this one, let's see, you gotta fix that. Um, so yeah, I love how it looks now. It's completely color coded, whereas before it was not. And it just looks so, so good like this. I decided to put my TBR back here and I love how it looks. It's just like a little, it's behind these flowers, but it's just like a little itty bitty corner. And this is the side that I'm like, hope I get to, but I'm not really sure if I'll get to. I actually added these two books on here because as I was like changing around my bookshelf, I was like, you know what, these are really good thrillers that I think that I wanna read. Um, this one is Mean Streak by Sandra Brown, and then this is The Good Girl by Mary Q. Becca. Um, this has been on my TBR for a minute, and I got these both, I th think I got this one from a like used bookstore here in town, and then this one I've literally had for so long. Then on this side, these are the books that I want to get to like immediately on my TBR, and I like how I've split them this way. I don't know if I'll keep them like this, um, just because I don't know I feel like this could definitely grow like so much more because I'm halfway through the month which means I'm halfway through my TBR so by the end of the month this will be like close to nothing hopefully but at the beginning of the month, it's gonna be like 10 books on this side, 10 on the other. So we'll see if I end up leaving this here. And the bookshelf looks so good. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I absolutely love, love, love how it turned out. You guys can see that there is tons of space for books on here on the shelf. So I will definitely link it below. I think it's the perfect, perfect size. Um, I do think that I'm gonna have to get another one because this is already full. Like literally it is full from top to bottom and these are all books that I finished and my bookshelf is also full. And so that just means whenever I get new books that I finished, I won't have a place to put them unless I put them back like by the TV area, which I don't really wanna do. So I'm not sure if I'll get another one of these or if I'll get like another shape. If you guys have any ideas for bookshelves or like what you think might look good, let me know. And then I left down here pretty much the same. I had to move some books from the big bookshelf to down here, but I just moved some blue ones, but it still looks super cute and and I just love this um, little coffee table. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know in the future, like very soon, I will have another 
video like this because I will need to add more bookshelves because the more I read, the more books I finish and the more they need a place to go. Again, I do always let my friends like borrow books from me and there are so many books that aren't even here right now because my friends are borrowing them. And if they come back, I don't even know where I'm gonna put them. So I definitely need to get another bookshelf. I also used to do that with my DVDs in college. My friends would like borrow out DVDs because back then like we didn't really have like Netflix. We, we did, but it was like, you had to rent it and like mail it back. And so I just used to buy DVDs and my friends would borrow them. And then I never ended up getting like so many of them back, which is fine. Cause like, I don't even watch DVDs anymore, but it's the same with books. Like I have some books out that friends have had for like a year, year and a half. And I just like, don't really care like to get them back uh, anytime soon. And so it's kind of nice for them because they're able to read it longer than if it were a library. And for me, I don't use a Kindle. So I just kind of get the ability to like give that book more and more life. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.